What should you do if at the last moment your speaking time is cut short and you have to get off stage? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. An interesting concept I picked up from the world of contest speaking is an idea called an emergency ending. In contest speeches, there are time limits. For example, in Toastmasters World Championship of Public Speaking, you have between four and a half and seven and a half minutes to give your presentation. If you go one second over or one second under, you are disqualified. The idea of the emergency ending comes from those contests where if you see a red light, which means you only have 30 seconds left, and you haven't gotten through all the material you plan to talk about, you got to go right to your ending. You don't have time to get through everything or else you're disqualified. The emergency ending is a 15, 20 second wrap up of your talk with your final thoughts and then closing it out. Remember, the last words you say or what people will remember if they're memorable. You don't want to be stumbling, you don't want to be in the middle of a sentence, get lost in thought, or just get cut off. That is the worst possible outcome for the conclusion of your talk. This doesn't just have to be in contest speeches. There are occasions when all of a sudden you realize you've got to get off stage. Maybe you got really involved in a story and you got audience involvement, maybe questions, laughter went more than you thought and your time is running out. Remember the cardinal rule of speaking, do not speak over your allotted time. It angers audiences and it certainly upsets meeting planners and it's almost a guarantee that you won't get invited back. Have your emergency ending. In 15 to 20 seconds, do a super quick synopsis and get your final line out, that one sentence that sums up the point and the purpose of your talk. And you won't leave the audience feeling befuddled or frustrated. You'll still leave them on a high note. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.